absolutely hate this. Hate it. Hate it. I'm not talking about the film, I'm talking about the fact that I had to wait an extra month to see this film after the US release date. So if you're watching this in America, I salute you for actually watching it and not caring about when I put it up or when it came out. But thank you for clicking on this video. Dumb and Dumber 2. So it has been 20 years since the first Dumb and Dumber film and since then it has become a cult comedy classic. And watching Dumb and Dumber 1 right before I watched Dumb and Dumber 2, I can still safely say that Dumb and Dumber 1 still makes me laugh my ass off to this day. So Dumb and Dumber 2, just like the gap between the films, does take place 20 years after the first Dumb and Dumber film and Harry goes to Lloyd and he says that he needs a kidney transplant and then he finds out, wait, he has this daughter that he never knew about so now they go on a road trip to meet his daughter and take a kidney. Well in the meantime, Lloyd is once again in love with his daughter. Now going into this film, I knew for a fact it wasn't going to be better or funnier than the first Dumb and Dumber film, I just knew that for a fact. But going into this film, I wanted this film to do one thing and one thing only. I wanted it to make me laugh. But did it make me laugh? Well, yeah, quite a few times actually, it did make me laugh. But the one thing that did it for me in this film was Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels' chemistry. I thought they were great in this film together. I thought they were just exactly like they were in the first film, but they're older. But they were, they were really good in the film. They have really good comedic chemistry. And it's just the exact same as it was in the first film. And I'm really glad that it wasn't different. Because I thought after 20 years, it was going to be all different. I thought they would have lost the chemistry. But it's not. It's still in this film, which is awesome. But let's get to the humour. This film, I will admit, did not have a laugh out loud moment. There was no like single moment where you go, yeah, that was the funniest part of the film. Oh my god, I died laughing. No tears, no stomach aching pains. There were no laugh out loud moment in this film, I will admit. And that is really depressing to say that. But this film does have a few laughs. I'd say there's more chuckle moments than there are laughs. But there's still laughs. That's the important thing. There's still laughs in there, trust me. Me personally, I didn't think this film was the terrible, horrible piece of turd that everyone's been saying it is. I do see why they say that, comparing it to the first Dumb and Dumber film, and it is depressing when you do compare it to the first one and see how unfunny it is compared to the first one, but I still think it's a reasonably enjoyable film. I mean, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it, if that's a re good thing to use. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. it this film's literally straight down the middle for me. I mean, like, as stuff I like, stuff I didn't like, just kind of balance out and it's a it's an in the middle film for me it's not the best film of the year but it's not it's not the funniest film of the year but it's just in the middle but what more can you really say about a film which is a sequel to a film that came out 20 years ago so what can you expect Farrelly Brothers who directed this film same director as the first film said that they tried to make this film a lot more like grosser and funny than the first one saying saying that there was some scenes in this film that make the toilet scene in Dumb and Dumb One look like soft it really wasn't though, I mean there, there was no like, really horrible, disgusting, awesomely funny joke that was worse than the toilet joke, I mean s the jokes in this film did feel quite light compared to the first one, even though this film's a rated 15, which in America is equivalent to a rated R, but in America it's a PG-13 rating, I guess the lighter on ratings over there. So it wasn't grosser than the first film, there were a few f scenes where you're like, oh god, <laughs> I would never do that, but it wasn't like really OTT gross. So in the end, Dumb and Dumber 2, it wasn't the terrible piece of rubbish I've heard everyone say it is, but it's obviously not a comedy masterpiece. There were a few laughs in the film, more chuckles than laughs unfortunately, but I still had a reasonably good time with the film. I love Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, they are great in this film, and yeah, that, what you can't really say anything more about it. It's a film that came out 20 years after its predecessor, so you can't really say that much about the film really. So in the end I will give Dumb and Dumber 2 a reasonable 5. I know you've seen Dumb and Dumber 2 so I want to know what did you think about it? Did you like it better than the first one or did you like the first one better? Whatever you think put them in the comments below and if you like this video and you want to see more then I think what you should do is click right here and also subscribe.